everybody, Ann here, just sitting here on my porch, having my coffee with all of you in the beautiful sunshine. Whew! I should get some watts in today, or volts, or amps, or whatever it is. Anyhow, yeah, that freaked me out yesterday, the whole snake thing. But, you know what? I've got to get used to it. I live out here in the country, and I've got wood piles, and uh, even if I didn't have wood piles, I'm going to have snakes anyhow. So today I'm going to go around and show you some stuff that I did yesterday and maybe have a few questions for you and whatnot. But I have got to go into town today. I really, really, really don't want to go into town. Uh, it stresses me out. I'm still afraid that the alternator is out in the van and I'm afraid the battery is going to go dead. But I'm going to take my battery pack with me and if it does start going dead then we're going to know that it's my alternator. So, I have to get some ice. I've got to get some other supplies and whatnot. Uh, I need toilet paper, so I have to go into town. Anyhow, well, let's just get this day started. I just left the post office, and so far, so good. The battery's not going dead, and I've got good news. In a little bit, I'm going to share with you my new post office box. Yep, had to stop at the Tractor Supply Company. Got some mothballs and some plants. Now I will show you my garden stuff. <laughs> Everything's dying. Well, not all of it. Some, there are some surprises. Here's my Willy Wonka garden. Yesterday I was thinning the Brussels sprouts and I transplanted one here. I don't think it's gonna make it. <laughs> and uh, see, this is right by this tree here. I need to cut all that stuff down. These little zucchini plants are actually doing Okay, look, those look like they're trying to start little blooms. Same with this one, and maybe that one. And then there's Mr. Lucas's onions that are starting to come up a little bit. There was another big one over there, but I don't know, kind of disappeared. Looks like something ate it. So, yep, my Willy Wonka garden. You know, these actually look healthier than the ones down by the street. We'll go look at those in a second. And the dill bed, eh, it's not doing anything. Here are my Brussels sprouts thinned out. And they look like they survived. So cool. And the watermelon, eh, you know. This sweet red pepper plant looks like it's doing okay. If you look down there in the bottom, there are some little flowers that are trying to start. So that's cool. Squash or watermelon? Don't know. Can't remember. Don't care. These little banana pepper plants are just not taking off. They are probably going to die. Uh, what are these? These are butternut squash. And I transplanted two cucumber plants. I don't know if they're going to live. I'm not even going to bother making a trellis unless I come out here tomorrow and they look like they're perking up. The second bed of Brussels sprouts are completely dead. So whatever's going on in this bed is not conducive to Brussels sprouts. It could be a sun situation. And here's the zucchini. Yep, looks like there are little blooms that are just trying, trying, trying. There, I ought to center it so you can see it. Trying to sprout. Uh, so it looks like we're trying to get some blooms. Oh, what's this? What's this? A dead leaf. Ha! Huh. Yep, so that's that. Um, tomato plants are growing taller. It's just so hot and uh, I need more water. I think that's part of the problem. That little squash plant, whatever, you know. I planted some onions here. Uh, these are trying to do something. The beans, let me get you over to the beans. Most of these beans look kind of dead, but look. We are getting a bloom. Yeah, a little bloom. And these are being eaten up by something. So I don't know if these are gonna make it. And then this is the spaghetti squash. You know, it's not flourishing, but it's not dying. This is the Japanese eggplant plant. And look, I can't see because of the sun. I hope, I'm hoping I'm filming, filming this right. That is a bloom. That may be a fruit. And check this out, guys. Remember how I said I didn't think anything was growing in that bucket? Look at that. What do you think that is? 
I'm going to let it come up and see what happens. Uh, sweet banana peppers, not doing anything. These are those tomatoes. They're about the same. Potatoes, well, they are definitely coming up. These right here could stand to be healed up, but they need to be, they need more water. I watered everything a little bit today, but I'm officially out of water in the barrels. So, I hope it rains soon. These carrots are doing okay. I should probably thin them out, but uh, I'm just going to leave them for now. I'm afraid to do anything. And then, this is my sweet red pepper. And, well, I don't want you. Uh, that little green fruit is getting bigger. So good. And you know what? Sometimes I'll go through and pick some of the early blooms off just so the plant can kind of flourish a little bit more and not have to worry about producing fruits and plus I want that one fruit to come up so this was a jalapeno bucket uh, basically all but one sproutling has died um, probably because I didn't water it enough so that is a jumbo jalapeno plant that I planted down in that bucket and it just seems like the stuff in the buckets are doing better and over here were some I don't know I can't even remember. They were all dead. So I planted a, oh, what is this? What did I plant? I planted a hot cayenne pepper plant in here, and I just did that today. So that's what's going on down here. See my girl right there? She's sitting there all nice and calm. You think she's being sweet? No, she's in trouble. You know why she's in trouble? Let me show you. <laughs> she's like, she's not even moving. She's like, Mom, I'm so sorry I ate your peppermint. I'm so sorry. You know what? It doesn't matter what you do. I will always love you, girlfriend. Always. Really nothing too interesting going on over here. The cilantro is looking better because it's a little bit shaded. This dill is starting to grow, and the oregano is doing okay. Well, that peppermint's not doing so good. Betty's been in it. Uh, cilantro's doing okay. Lemon balm chives are doing terrible. <laughs> Lemon balm's doing great. Chamomile is doing great. But check out this peppermint. Look at that. This is where the peppermint was doing its best, and it is all but gone. And, uh, yeah, I caught dig Betty digging in it. She also loves to dig in this one. I caught her digging over by this basil over here, so that might explain a lot of why some of these plants aren't doing so great, but these herbs are doing okay, so good. The beans over here are doing good. I've got little blooms on them. The color is a little bit better. In fact, there's blooms on almost every single one, so hopefully I'll have beans soon. Something came in and ate the tops off of all the carrots almost, and so these aren't doing so great. No. And I took out a couple more cucumber plants, and I will probably take out a couple more. I don't know. But thank goodness these seem to be growing okay. The lettuce is starting, starting to take off a little bit, and I'm just going to resign myself to the fact that I am not going to get any spinach. I don't know. Maybe I need to think more positive. I need to think more positive, right? Never give up on plants. Remember? Remember when I said that? Oh my goodness. Sorry if there's a sound in the background. It's a fan in the window pulling in cool air from the porch. Anyway, yeah, I got me some mothballs, so I have to decide how many and where I'm going to put them. I know that there's going to be some underneath of this porch. Um, I read the instructions, and it said you're supposed to put them inside a, uh, an airtight thing or whatever. Well, these come in little packs, so I don't know. Can I just throw them under the tiny house and throw them in a, in a thing of wood and, like, by the shower and whatnot? Uh, I'll wait for your advice until I start throwing stuff around. For right now, I've got the big box sitting up on the porch, so maybe that'll at least deter him from getting up on the porch. But, well, got a few things planted. Um, and aside from that, well, I'm tired. I'm beat today. It is hot. It's warming up. And you know what? This week, it's going to be a scorcher. It's going to be getting into the 90s. It is supposed to rain a couple days, so hopefully I will get lots and lots of rain because I'm out of water, basically, for the plants. I've got plenty of drinking water, and I've got ice. I picked up a bunch of ice today, 
So, and that'll melt and it'll turn into either drinking water or water I can use for plants. But, you know what? That's it. I'm done. I'm done for the day. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.